Today on Mr. Media, I'll talk to actor Rizwan Manji, one of the stars of NBC's bloody brilliant ensemble comedy, Outsourced. And this is Rizwan's second appearance on our show this year. Stick around. Do I hear wedding bells? Hey, did you know that you can listen to the latest Mr. Media on your phone with the Stitcher app? Stitcher is smart radio for your smartphone. Mr. Media is on demand and on the go with Stitcher. Download Stitcher for your phone today. Get the free download at Stitcher.com. That's S-T-I-T-C-H-E-R.com. So much media. So little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is a Mr. Media interview. You know, MrMedia.com, MRMedia.com. Stop by and check it out. There are more than 700 archived celebrity and pop culture interviews for your listening pleasure. The show is brought to you today by Audible. Audible is offering Mr. Media listeners a free audiobook download and a 14-day trial offer to give you a chance to check out their very cool service. I love listening to books on tape. If you've never tried it before, actors or sometimes the authors themselves read to you. It's great for the commute, the beach, or even unwinding before bed. You can choose a free audiobook from Audible's enormous library of titles, including today's top Indian bestsellers, such as Vikram Seth's Wonderful Story, A Suitable Boy, Sarah MacDonald's Holy Cow, An Indian Adventure, or even Narendra Dami's Bollywood Babes. You can even come back to America and download Will Eisner, A Spirited Life, the biography of the comic book and graphic novel legend, which I wrote and will read to you personally. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash radio. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash radio for your free audiobook. recorded live before a studio audience of staff writers for Martha Stewart Weddings who steal all their best ideas from me in the new new media capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. I was hoping you could approve my vacation request. Oh. Ah, two-week honeymoon. It's like a 14-day bonathon. <laughs> bonathon? Is that some filthy American slang? No, no, it's, it's just um, the emotions when you're in love are more than skin deep it goes all the way to the bone and marriage isn't a sprint it's a marathon so when you combine the deep emotions with the marathon that's how you get the bone of I like that it sounds beautiful just make sure you stay hydrated a wedding seems the appropriate analogy to finish out the first season of the NBC sitcom Outsourced the show, about a white bread American exiled to run a Mumbai, India call center, seemed more out of this world to TV critics and many viewers when it debuted in September 2010 than even Star Trek's blue-skinned, antennaed Andorians. Outsourced... <laughs> okay. Outsourced took... That's, that's Rizwan laughing. Um, Outsourced took a critical drubbing before most Americans even knew it was on the air. But a funny thing happened on the way to the Mid-American Novelties annual shareholders meeting. NBC renewed Outsource for a full season. Somebody, somewhere, believed in the show. And I think you can even make a case that putting it at the end of the network's three-hour Thursday comedy block was a loving, protective move. Slotted at 10.30 p.m. took the pressure off, giving audiences a chance to discover it on their own terms at a time of night when expectations were admittedly low. I would also argue that both moves took the pressure off the writing staff, who shaped a lump of coal into a shimmering diamond. Characters developed and blossomed. Storylines, such as assistant manager Rajiv's efforts to woo his beloved and her stony, disapproving father, were given gentle showcases and, as they say, hilarity ensued. We learn that Rajiv, played by Rizwan Manji, had a heart, and that despite all his efforts to be disdained by his employees, they loved him nonetheless. So this marriage, unspooling in a two-part episode starting Thursday, May 5th, that's today, and concluding on May 12th, represents not just the coming together of Rajiv and Vimy. It also marks the union of an Indian cast of sitcom characters and an American TV audience. And just this morning, I read in Variety that the show has finally won over the National Association for Multi-Ethnicity and Communications, 
as well as South Asians in media marketing and entertainment, both of which are actively lobbying NBC to give outsource the second season. Now, to me, that's important because the network might respond if it sees a chance to market to a welcoming niche audience it hasn't programmed to in the past. And now, with my fingers crossed, Rizwan Manji, welcome back to Mr. Media and Shadi Mubarak. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, that was that was really nice. I got a little teary-eyed when you when you <laughs> said that whole uh, um, the, the the intro. Um, I, I, it's a lot of stuff I haven't thought about, and uh, um, you know, thank you so much. That was uh, that that was very heartfelt. Uh, and, uh, um, um, we're yeah, I mean, we're really excited. Uh, we, as you said, we're looking uh, forward to a season two. Hopefully, we'll get some some news really soon. And uh, but um, tonight's episode uh, is uh, by far the most insane episode of Outsourced uh, ever, <laughs> that we've ever, ever, ever shot. It is. Uh, it was. It was absolutely. Uh, I don't know what other word to say except insane. It's a. It's an American bachelor party in Bombay. Uh, you can only imagine what uh, what kind of things go wrong. It, it'll it'll all go wrong, and it'll all happen tonight. And you know, it's it's interesting what you said because I mean, so many crazy things have happened on this show. Uh, the water gun fights. The <laughs> crazy with, with the with, yeah the with the with the paint with the paint and, uh, right right uh, and um yeah just the 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 stuff that they've uh that they've shown on the show uh, like you know you you've never seen it anywhere on TV before it's 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 such a um i don't know it, it's so important for me that the show continues because it's so different it's so new and it's just showing such a very different different kind of Different kind of TV than we've than we've ever ever seen, and uh, um, that's why I, I just feel like it's so important that it gets a chance to continue. I was thinking about that too, I, I, and I was thinking that Outsource has brought so much color to our TV screens this year, and I, and I don't mean skin color at all, but it's it's the depiction of Indian holidays, of dress, and just this certain I don't know joie de vie that that the cast and, and the characters seem to have. What what have been your favorite moments this season? Um, I def uh, definitely, I think, uh, uh, looking back, m one of my favorite episodes that's already aired is uh, the Diwali episode. And I think partly for, for, for that reason, as you mentioned, it's just so colorful. The, the, the costumes, the, the um, uh, you know, the, the, the way that they shot that episode with the fireworks, it, there's something about that, uh, that show, which I think is a lot of the episodes, Sort of lend itself to that. There's something about it that just makes you feel good watching it because of the way that it's the way that it's shot and and just the endearing quality about it. Just it's it's kind of like a feel good show. And uh, it definitely this um, this two part season finale. Um, I think it, once again because it's a wedding and because Indian weddings lend themselves to that kind of uh, that kind of visual. Uh, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Visual impact. It, it's it's. Definitely uh, one of uh, uh, one of the highlights the, of of the entire season. Can I tell you my favorite moment in the season to date? Sure, I would love to know. Yeah, I think it, it would have to be was when the Mid American uh, big, the big boss uh, Jerry shows up unexpectedly from America, and <laughs> and he and Rajiv and Todd wind up in jail together. And then uh, this was the, and then the next morning for people who haven't seen it, back in the office, uh, to, uh, Jerry gives Rajiv the title of manager for no other reason than to help him win over his fiancé's father. I mean, that brought a tear to my eye. Who could resist that? That was incredible. It, it, it was one of those things. It was like, until that point, you know, Rajiv's been, he's, he's hard to like sometimes because he says very, very crazy things. Very, he's, he's not, he, he doesn't shy away from, from being blunt and, you know, being mean. And uh, I was surprised that, you know, a lot of people tweeted and, and Facebook, and they were like, we were we were just so happy. We were so happy for Rajiv. I'm like, really? You were really happy for Rajiv after all the all the stuff he's put everybody through. But I think that, I think that's what it is about this show. It, no matter what, these characters are so so endearing and so lovable that you're just rooting for them. You just want them to succeed. And you know, even Rajiv, with all his um, mayhem, you still want him to succeed. So, uh, 
boy, I, I realize we're going to run out of time so quickly. I have to ask you, what, what will American audiences learn about Indian wedding practices that might surprise us in the second part? <laughs> Um, in the second part, you know I, what 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 I loved uh, that they did with this show is that they were they they uh, they stuck to the the whole you know how our weddings they take my, my personal wedding took uh, four different nights of different different events um, you know there's the, the there's the pre wedding there's the mandi which is when everyone when all the women put on the henna and then uh, there's uh, the 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 ceremony after uh, after the wedding so i i think this show was very honest and true to that and it wasn't just the reception that they went on they 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 uh, showed all basically the the uh, they did a 3 day event and i and i just love that they that they uh that they created stories around what was going on for this entire 3 days and just the different you know the different outfits that are worn on each each day and you know the 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 singing and the dancing that happens at the sangeet and i i uh, that's what i think people the american audience is going to see um tonight and uh, and next thursday is is how you know it's not just this one day event an indian wedding spans a lot longer than that mm-hmm. and they were very true to that now i hear the honeymoon is going to be a real bonathon <laughs> a real bonathon it definitely will <laughs> i think reggie's been waiting way too long so it's going to be the bonathon of all bonathons oh my god i can't tell you we watched the we watched the, we watched your show as a family and i have to admit i did have a moment uh, a, a pang of resistance when uh, my daughter was sitting across from me hearing that, and I thought, "Oh my God!" No, just yeah, she's like, "What's the? Oh no!" I, oh God! I don't know what was worse that she that she it, it, that that she didn't ask me what it was. I, I that she got. Oh yeah. Oh, no. Well, I guess that's, if they hear a lot. Well, uh, a lot worse things at school, I'm sure, than what happens on Amazon. <laughs> but I want to warn you that we do have a bachelor party tonight, and they're uh, strippers, and so I would just be. <laughs> well, uh, before we run out of time, folks, listen, I'm begging you, watch the two-part outsourced season finale featuring the wedding of Rizwan Manji's character, Rajiv. It's the most delightful, most rewarding show on any network or cable channel this season, I promise you. The show airs Thursdays at 10.30 p.m. on NBC. You can catch it on demand, on iTunes, on Hulu, or NBC.com. And you can follow Rizwan on Twitter at Riz underscore Manji, M-A-N-J-I, or find him on Facebook. And Rizwan, I, I hope we get to talk again in the fall about uh, a second season, and uh, it's been a delightful talking to you and, and watching the show. Thank you again, and I hope so, too. I hope to talk very soon. All right. Take care. Good luck. You too. All right. Bye-bye. For more original interviews with America's top sitcom TV stars, surf over to our main website, mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. If you've enjoyed today's show, subscribe for free to Mr. Media via email, RSS, or iTunes, and you'll never miss a show. You can also listen with a piece of string and a tin can in many locations, including Mumbai, India. And show your support of Mr. Media by supporting our sponsors, including Audible. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash radio. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash radio for your free audiobook. We're also supported by the thepartyauthority.us. Call DJ Ira for all your party entertainment needs nationwide at 1-800-DIAL-DJs or visit their website, thepartyauthority.us. We'll even accept a donation via PayPal to help defray the cost of producing the show. If you've got an idea for a guest, a comment on today's show, or would like to advertise on Mr. Media Radio, email me directly at bob at mrmedia.com, mrmedia.com. You can also follow Mr. Media on Facebook, Twitter, or our new YouTube video channel. Thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you sharing a piece of your day with Mr. Media. Thanks for listening. <laughs>